All right, let me in. Apparently, the scorch marks on. What the fuck happened here? Okay, you got some explaining to do, Gypsy. I'm gonna make the probably safe assumption that the monster did this and not you, but I'm not entirely convinced yet. I mean, you are apparently a psychic after all. God only knows you could probably set a person's soul on fire if you wanted to. Which I think is actually a Dark Souls ability, if I'm not mistaken. That sounds like something you'd be able to do. I'm almost certain that it is. It's like a hex or something. I don't care. Continuing the quest. Okay, what about your Meg's case? What do you have to say for yourself? Ah, the uh-oh. Meg has chosen well. She's also chosen a hundred thousand other players before you, but I told them the same thing, even though I'm lying. Um, thank you. What could you tell me about the robbery? Certainly. I was here waiting for due clients when I felt a strong, a very strong presence rushing towards me. I normally see such things coming much sooner, but I did manage to hide just in time. The room went pitch black, and I felt a heat like no other. The robber stole one of my travel crystal balls and left. I tried to remotely lock the ball to block its use, but I could not. The only reason why I would not be able to that is if the ball was on another plane. So, he's a demon, right? Whoever this is, the uh -oh. it is not a simple thief. Indeed, this is most worrying. Do you mind if I look around? Be my guest, the uh -oh. Well, I mean, the first thing, most obvious thing, the rug has a very large scorch mark on it. I wonder what could have caused it. We should report back to Meg. You know, I'm getting real fucking tired of just going to a place and then going back immediately. Like, real fucking tired of it. Like, okay, I get that, you know, these quests are supposed to be short and all, and I respect that, and it's kind of okay when it came to the eastern lands, but I'm getting real tired of having to teleport all the way to this lodestone here just to run my ass over to the fucking dock area. Go in there, talk to Meg. She's like, oh, you found the thing! And then she dismisses me, forces me back outside only to come back in and talk to her again. I'm getting real tired of it. Oh well, let's fucking do it then. Might as well. We gotta blitzkrieg the Mega May after all. Oh uh, yes, we'll help with the case. So how's the case going? Uh -oh. I spoke to Gypsy Ares and she said all the lights went out, so it fits our serial burglar. Gypsy Heiress said that one of her crystal balls... We have to keep calling her Gypsy Heiress. Can't we just call her the client or heiress? Because, you know, it's kind of getting redundant to just repeat her title over and over again. Uh, heiress said that one of the crystal balls used for traveling was stolen. She tried to lock use of the ball, but she could not. She said it had traveled to a different plane. Great. There was a large scorch mark on a rug. This gets more serious the longer we investigate the... Uh -oh. So far, they have stolen clothes, bed linen, some dye, a cake tin, a hammer, and now a crystal ball. What next? This is obviously the most serious, most hardcore streak of crime imaginable. It is almost worse than murder, you know, that this interdimensionally traveling demon could scoot to a level so low as to steal a cake tin. This cannot stand. Cannot stand. Seriously? Okay, I'm kind of almost... I'm very interested to find out what the fuck this demon wants. Because it's got to be something, It's got to be something, right? I mean, an interdimensional demon doesn't just pop into the world to steal a fucking cake tin. That sounds ridiculous. The clues so far, they can turn out lights. They have talons and wings. They are powerful. They can travel different planes and can start fires. We're close to finding their identity. I think we still need more clues. How the fuck are we any closer to finding their identity? Like, by now, it's clearly obvious that these guys are some demons from the Hellspawn plane. But, let's be perfectly honest, how does that help us exactly? You know, coming to the ultimate realization that a demon is for some reason stealing cake tins doesn't really help us to stop them. We kind of still have to come to the conclusion of, how the fuck do you stop a demon that's stealing cake tins? 
You know, something that can apparently turn out and absorb all light. It can burst random things into flame, smash through walls, turn invisible, just appear out of nowhere. How do you stop that exactly? I mean, shouldn't that be our primary concern? Identifying it really at this point isn't a problem. All right, let's continue this quest now. Let's find out. Is this the last one? No, nope, there's two more over there. Okay, so we're going to do this one. This is probably the last one we're going to be doing today, at least. There we go. There's been another burglary. This time it was an apothecary in Varak. You go and speak to the Kim, to the doctor there for more clues. Why the fuck is the demon attacking an apothecary? I mean, at least this makes more sense. You know, demons... Um, hospitals, insane asylums, it kind of makes a little more sense, but still, an apothecary really isn't at that next level to really warrant a demonic possession. Oh well, uh, I guess I don't, I don't get to pick and choose, demon can attack whatever it wants, still gonna track it down. This is like a Witcher quest, essentially. That, that is literally what this is. This is what Geralt of Rivia has to deal with daily. Literally, Geralt of Rivia has to deal with it. Apparently, it's here. Even though the apothecary is in Varric, it's teleporting me to Port Serum. Someone, yeah, you need to fix that because that makes no sense. Okay, well, I'm just going to teleport to Varric directly because I can and head to the apothecary. I don't even know where that is. I'm assuming it's going to be easy to find. I mean, apothecary is either, depending on what kind of apothecary, depending on, like, you know, what kind of level of apothecary this is, either it's going to be, like, a plague-style hospital, and thus outside the town, it would thus warrant a demon attack, because, you know, plague plus demon, um, or it's like, you know, you go in there, you get your daily dose of medication, and you're done. Is an apothecary a general hospital, or is it a dental thing? I actually forget, because I'm pretty sure there is a specific name for a dental hygienist in this time period, but I don't know if it's an apothecary or not. Then again, I can't imagine why we'd have a dental hygienist in RuneScape, unless, like, you know, there's a way to edit your teeth, because somehow that's important to players. Oh, shit, hold on. There's the sewer. Hold on a second. We could actually do this quest instead. Ah, shit. Actually, we can't. We can't do that quest because that quest requires us to, um... Requires us to restart, so we'd have to go back to Lumbridge. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll just continue this one for now, then. And, um, hopefully, we'll find this apothecary and we'll finish this thing up. And just get off from there. Uh, where the fuck is the apothecary? You'd think it'd be easy to find. Also, why is this gate locked? Is this a members only area? No, it's not. There's just a gate here. There wasn't a gate. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't close the fucking gate behind me, asshole. But, you know, I guess Varric's stepping up its defenses somewhat, which, as I said previously, is probably a good thing, given the circumstance. What the fucking hell? Please don't disturb me. I've got to keep my eye on What are you wearing? Is that a gas mask? There is, there is a fucking plague here, isn't there? Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to fucking be. There's got to be a plague here. So the apothecary's got to be over here, right? It's got to be in this district. Okay, I'm going to go in here and have a look around. Maybe, maybe it'll be here. It's not over there. It's fancy McDressington. Know that much. There's a bar here. I mean, I guess it might count. I mean, a bar could theoretically be an apothecary. Alcohol is often used to sterilize wounds. Also, was that what I think it was over there? Hold on, hold on. Hold the front door. Hold the front fucking door. This is a temple to Zamorak? The fuck is a temple to Zamorak doing out here? Unless Varric's like a Zamorakian town. I don't think it is, though. Maybe it is. 
Well, that would be a surprise. I always figured it'd be Serdoministic, but I guess you never know, really. This has got to be the Apothecary. What the fuck is this? Okay, Straven. Explain yourself. Let's do that door. Hey, you can't go in there. Only authorized personnel of the Vatam Corporation are allowed to be on this point. How do I get a job at the Vatam Corporation? Get a copy of the Verak Herald. How many positions right now they'll be advertising there? Alright, so that's a quest to do later. Probably a members only quest, but beyond the point. According to the map, the apothecary should be over here. Like, it should be in this building. Like, I'm assuming that's the symbol of the apothecary, right? Maybe it's, like, on the roof? I have no idea. No, no, no! Oh, fuck it. Murder him. I don't care. No, apparently it's not. Okay, I have no idea where the apothecary is, then. Like, no idea whatsoever. ever. Apparently there's another one over here, so maybe this is the actual apothecary they were talking about. We just walked past it as soon as we arrived. I wouldn't really be surprised. Oh no, that thing we're looking at is actually a... It's, just, it's the symbol of an oven, so no, that's not the apothecary. So I have no idea where the fucking apothecary is, God damn it! Oh, fuck me. Well, fine, fine. I guess we're just gonna have a leave it there, guys. I'll have a look for the apothecary. Um, we'll Google it up, I'll wiki it, or whatever it takes to find it, and then we'll head there next time. Yeah, thanks for watching. I've been uh oh, and I'll see you next time.